Lucio Fontana's Concetto Spaziale La Fina de Dio epitomizes the very essence of his iconic practice. You're constantly changing the rhythm and dimension and moving beyond the picture plane. He's one of the artists that really shifts materiality and completely controls the surface. Created in 1963 at the very dawn of the space age, ushered in by Yuri Gagarin's flight in 1961 came an entirely new dimension. The seminal moment in history of mankind was the catalyst for Fontana's greatest achievement. It's us teetering on the very brink of our existence and the void itself. We're calling into question our place within the world and humankind. Fontana's conceptual philosophy, termed spatialism, proposed to synthesize and transcend material properties to forge an entirely new direction for art. So Lucio Fontana is also known for his slashes, which is sort of the first punctuation of the surface of the canvas. It, the genesis of the piercing was something that was a lifelong and career-long endeavor for him. However, this is really the pinnacle of his practice given the scale, and I would say the uniqueness is also the oval form. With La Fina de Dio, or The End of God, this work belongs to a series of 38 colossal void canvases executed between 1963 and 64. Here, Fontana achieved the ultimate manifestation of his life's work. Argentinian by birth, Fontana was educated in Italy and classically trained. As a sculptor, the advantage that Fontana had was that he was thinking beyond just the simple plane of a two-dimensional surface. Of the 38 canvases in the series, the present work is one of only five made in white, two of which are held in the permanent collections of Milan's Fendozione Prada and the Museum of Contemporary Art in Tokyo. He chooses white, I think, as a way to mimic the cosmos, the moon, and there's an incredible tranquil quality to the surface and really a sublime aspect to it, but it also imparts wisdom and an unknown quality for viewers as they look upon it. And we still are enchanted by his work today because of our continued questioning of our place within the world and the universe.